and welcome to our honeymoon. We're about tw tw 25 minutes ago, we realized we booked <laughs> we booked the wrong hotel. There's the no we. Zach, you're There's no we. It's, so I am. This is what happens when you leave Clancy with one responsibility to do other than YouTube. <laughs> oh yeah, that's all I can do. Guys, it's honestly Zach's fault because we were debating between Cancun and Cabo. Uh, I just basically, we're at the wrong place. I don't, I don't, how do we even explain what just happened? No, so what happened oh, he is. he takes the camera. What happened is there's two resorts in Cancun, quote unquote, one's in Riviera Maya. Not quote unquote, Zach, there's a difference. So they're 20 minutes away. So the whole goal was to go to the adults only part of Riviera Maya. I don't even know what it's called. It's called something specifically. Heavens. Heavens. So when we were supposed to be booking, we were supposed to be booking at Heavens. Pretty straightforward, what I thought. And so Clancy took the reins to get it booked, which I appreciated. And yeah, but we're not at Heavens and we're not in Riviera Maya. Zach, Riviera Maya but is separate. You told me can't, like, Riviera Maya is not can't. <laughs> it's not, but once again. Do we need to get out a globe? No, yeah, yeah Clancy had to Google where we are on, <laughs> and on the planet. But I think we're doing just fine. Yeah, that's the that's the view. <laughs> Everything's great. So if we have to deal with a couple kids, a couple rugrats <laughs> running around, we'll be fine. So I think we're gonna live. We're gonna be just fine. But it is funny that you give this one one task because <laughs> they were asking us like, where are you guys going? And she kept saying Cancun, and I'm like, I don't think that's right. And well, she was right that that is what she booked, but. It's not what I was supposed to book, but it's okay. We're, we're here. The room's great. I'm drinking apple juice. <laughs> <Our, laughs> we're big, our, we're partying big. with apple juice. We're very lucky and happy right now, but it's funny that I've been telling all these people, we're going to this adults only side. You've been telling all these people. I've told everyone on my last YouTube video is me specifically saying, <laughs> oh yeah, it's this cool adults only side. Like, but mm. no, this is going to be very nice. So we made it. We made it! Guys, this room is insane. So first of all, the fact that this is the view, I have just never experienced this. And there's like a balcony. How can I, does it open? You it open. turn the handle and then slide. This slides, this slides. Oh, it slides. Look at that. Like that, I, we're just, we're not used to that. It's almost better that we're not used to it because it just makes it that much more special, you know? I don't know, I just. I, oh yeah, and I mean, if we lived in Florida and saw a beach 24 seven, it wouldn't be quite as cool, so. I mean, that'd be a good problem to have as well, but. This is very interesting. A huge tub in just the middle of the room. I'm just gonna be drinking my beer. <laughs> Clancy! <laughs> Get me another one! I'm empty! <laughs> yeah, Zach's just gonna be in the tub all the The room service is gonna come in. I'll be like, bring in the steak! Also, I literally thought that there was no shower. I'm like, are we really gonna have to bathe in the tub because this door was closed? But. Lo and behold, there is a shower, cool bathroom area. It's very open, Zach, because we don't really like to spend much time apart. So it would be really bad if I had to go into a bathroom and, you know. It would be. Wow, I can't believe it. And we actually just ordered room service. It's like, what time is it? It's like four something. All I've had today is a banana and I'm, my stomach is like eating itself, it feels like. So we just ordered room service and we are just so excited to be here and so grateful. And you know what? Everything happens for a reason. We are meant to be here. We are meant to be at Hard Rock Cancun. And we're supposed to be all along. For our first room service meal, Zach got some guac and chips. He also got some sort of ribs and corn. And then I got a chicken sandwich and fries. And this is just like a quick little thing. I was about to say a quick little thing to hold us over. It's a full <laughs> meal, what am I saying? And super cute, they did this little happy honeymoon thing. I have no idea, I think these are just like white chocolates. Obviously I can't have it with my nut allergy, but so cute. Just did my makeup. As I'm looking at it though, the lips are looking so much darker than I intended. So whatever, we'll get to that in a second. We are currently encountering our first problem of the trip where, okay, I, I really don't want to harp on this. This is the third video in a row where I'm talking about my foot injury. I know, but a couple of days ago, I accidentally dropped a ceramic Christmas tree on my foot when I was decorating. I haven't posted any photos of my foot because I just feel like it's disgusting for people to see. But you know what? For those of you who are curious, 
As to what my foot currently looks like, I took a photo a few minutes ago and I'm gonna give you a warning. So ready? All right, if you don't wanna see the foot picture, close your eyes now. For everyone else, this is what I am currently dealing with, okay? Anyway, you guys can open your eyes now if you closed them. The problem is we booked a reservation at the steakhouse tonight. You're not allowed to wear flip-flops. In my little bag, I figured I'd be wearing flip-flops all week, like even for dinners, and then maybe on the last night I could try to pop on a shoe. Um, looks like I'm gonna have to try to put that disgusting black and blue foot into either, I don't know if this one or this one would be less painful. Like I have no idea. So we're gonna figure that out. I figured for the first night I would wear the dress that covers as much of my skin as possible because I am so pale right now and I'm hoping throughout the week, like obviously I can get a little more tan. This is like a little wristband they give you, by the way, if you are a Hall of Fame member, which we are, we are not, but the person who's room this is is so that's good all right the shoes are on it is not awful the lighting in this room though definitely is for filming it's like this weird recess lighting i guess like in real life it's awesome the ambiance is on point for filming though i'm sorry the room shots are maybe not going to be the best but this is a dress i got like four or five years ago at a local boutique in dayton this might be one of the only nights i wear my hair down just because you know swimming in the ocean all day going to the pool am i really going to want to blow it dry straighten it do the whole thing every night probably not so i wanted to wear it down but ideally out of my face For our first night, we decided to go to the steakhouse. We started off with the gnocchi. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I couldn't really eat it because it contained eggs, but Zach loved it. I got the chicken and fries, he got the steak, and then we went to a show. And each night at the resort, they have different themed shows. So tonight was, I think like it's called acrobatics, something like that. All I know is it was just the craziest thing ever. Like these people, ready? Oh my gosh, they're so unbelievably talented and it's really cool that the resort does these shows each night just like a fun little thing to do and just some classic entertainment good morning guys um the most beautiful day ever i seriously don't even know if you can see me because i can't i can't see me the screen is literally black just because it is so sunny it's like the perfect temperature right now i think it's like in the 70s gonna reach like in the 80s today it's just so perfect and the crazy thing with this room that we are in the person who has the timeshare i guess has butler service included so we have a butler which obviously i'm so grateful for but also i don't know i feel funny about like you you'll ask them like hey can you and this is huge can you like reserve us um seats by the beach or do we want seats by the pool today um they reserved seats at the show last night which was insane by the way those people were not human like how could they do that the amount of strength that you have to have to do some of those dance moves like i i was literally sitting there with like my jaw on the floor it was absolutely insane i was not expecting the show to be like a professional performance like i would have paid hundred dollars two hundred dollars to see that and it was included just like with our stay but yeah so we have butlers it's like two of them which is just like crazy and i have to google how much we tip at the end because i have no idea i've obviously never had a butler before so have to figure that out but it's really cool like this giant pool i mean obviously they have like these little pools as well there's like one there one there but then it's like this giant pool with a couple of swim up bars which i love a good swim up bar although i'm not a big drinker and honestly that's okay because i remember the last time we went to an all-inclusive i felt guilty like all right it's included in you know the cost we paid like got a drink i'm just not the type of person who's like knocking back all these drinks during the day like i like having a few drinks of dinner but i i'm just i'm not a big day drinker like maybe i'll pick like one or two days but i'm just i'm not the biggest day drinker so that's totally fine all-inclusive though like just not having to worry about like this meal costs that much this meal costs that much because that's kind of what was happening in miami like the prices were insane and as much as you say like oh i'm just not going to worry about it like let's just you know enjoy it it's on the back of your mind that you're eating a 30 dollars chicken sandwich so i think we're gonna check out see what the breakfast stitch is and hopefully have a good day 
For breakfast, Zach decided to get the vegan pancakes. I went with a bagel and watermelon, and then we went to explore this beautiful place, and it was so stunning. I have never been to Mexico before. Uh, how? How? The beach, which we're about to get to in a second. We were walking past the pool area. But yeah, like the ocean was just the most beautiful color ever. I just, I, I've never been before, so I just, I didn't know. There are some waves, like they're, they're, they're nothing crazy, but there definitely are waves. Like you can't, yeah, you can see it right there. You can't just like relax in the ocean, but it was still so beautiful. We decided for day one to reserve a spot at the beach, which, listen, I am never again going to have a butler. <laughs> like, it's just a fact. I, I just, I, I cannot afford a butler. Having it though was such a game changer. Like, just not having to worry about getting, you know, our spot at the pool or our spot at the beach. It just, it was so nice. And then this was Zach's calm before the storm. Because one thing about Zach is he is an activity man. So he was doing the pool volleyball. We're gonna get to more of the activities tomorrow. Meanwhile, I'm just chilling. For lunch, I got fish tacos. Zach got some sort of seafood platter dish. And day one, I will say, was a ravishing success. I'm back at the room, just about to get ready for tonight. Today was just an all day ocean and a little bit of pool day. I think tomorrow we're gonna spend more time in the pool, but it's like, look at the ocean. How, how are we supposed to stay away from the ocean while we're here? Like, it's just so freaking nice, but I'm spying below us because I think they are currently setting up for some sort of wedding, possibly. You could see like the whole row, or not row, but like line of buffet food. They have all of the fancy tablecloths and it would just be so cool to get married here or any destination wedding. Like I always wonder what that would have been like. If you guys remember, we were considering a destination wedding for a hot second. The biggest reason we said no, it's just, it's such an imposition to so many people. And there were a lot of people I just, I didn't want to put in that position. Like, do you want to pay, you know, a couple thousand bucks to come to my wedding? Like it just, it would have been obviously expensive. It, on the one hand could be like awesome. It could be a vacation for people and an excuse for them to have a vacation, but I know not everyone obviously has the means and that's totally okay. Anyway, why am I going on a random tangent? But first full day in Cancun has been a ravishing success. And then tonight we are booked at the seafood place. I got a little bit of color today, but definitely not anything crazy. Like I've just been applying and reapplying sunscreen, which is my goal. Like no matter what, if I'm in the sun, I'm going to be getting color like a little bit but i don't i'm not trying to get burnt i'm not trying to get fried trying to protect the skin i just want everyone to know that before dinner this is what zach is doing he is watching selling sunset which i don't even watch that show but he's like obsessed with selling sunset got the leg kicked up and he's just you know really not having a care in the world all right we're on our way to dinner zach can you do a little outfit of the night because you're kind of looking like a baller Got a green shirt on, gray shorts on, and white shoes on. Oh, awesome. Okay. Guys, we have a monumental moment. I am eating a surf and turf. I'm normally not a big steak eater, but I'm having to branch out here. And so far, so good. Like, every time I've branched out, I've really been happy. And as you can tell, drum roll please, the salmon was so good. Another night means another show. This was the Rock of Ages show where they play a lot of rock music. Surprise, surprise, we're at the Hard Rock Hotel. And then the next day they had this really cool like water exercise class that I just enjoyed watching. I did not partake in, my foot was still not in a good place. So I kind of just read my book. But meanwhile, one thing I thought I would never see is Zach wrestling with little kids. He was playing water polo, I believe. And I wanted to give a little update. The kids being at the resort, because obviously we thought we were booking this like adults only honeymoon, it did not end up being a problem. I mean, it's the middle of November, so most kids are in school. And it was kind of, it was cute seeing the kids run around. There really weren't that many of them. Meanwhile, Zach decided to partake in a giant water balloon fight, which is like, I can't think of anything I would rather do less, just getting nailed in the face with water balloons, but he enjoyed it. He also enjoyed playing uh, ping pong. He lost to this guy, unfortunately. And then we went out to dinner. The food was delicious, but this is where things really took a turn. So food poisoning, let's talk about it. Shall we? Because I have had uh, quite the past couple of days. Also, as we speak, there's literally a wedding going on just casually below us. They just sealed the deal with a kiss. Oh my gosh, wow. 
That is so crazy. Oh my, she looks so beautiful, that dress. I feel like that is like the optimal destination wedding dress. Zach, there's a wedding going on. <laughs> Nice. True love does exist. I didn't realize it. Well, one uh, love story begins, another ends. <laughs> I'm about to fill them in on the food poisoning. I normally do not drink bubbly drinks. I hate bubbly drinks. Like whenever I order my vodka water, they're always like, oh, like the sparkling or bubbly water, whatever it is, like soda water. And I say, no, I don't like the way bubbles feel on my stomach, but I have been trying everything these past couple of days just to feel back to normal. Today I'm feeling quite good i must say but we're definitely not fully in the clear because this was my first experience with food poisoning and let me tell you folks it's not a fun one it is not at all it all happened a few days ago where do i even begin so basically oh my gosh all right we went out to what is it it's called like tapanyaki something like that where it's the hibachi they just call it something different where you have the chef cook in front of you they cook the rice they cook the chicken it is like one of my all-time favorite meals and just experiences like it's so much fun but on the way there and you know that day my stomach was definitely not feeling good and for me i wasn't really thinking much of it because <laughs> my stomach's like never feeling good i mean it's just i have so many stomach problems that i'm used to just like seriously just always in a state of like just it's not amazing so i didn't think much of it but i distinctly remember sitting at the table with everyone and just being like, wow, if people had any idea, like my stomach is literally going like this right now. Like it wasn't hurting, but it was just like, I, it literally felt like it was doing like flips and just weird things where I was like, what the heck? But I'm like ignoring it. Wasn't drinking, wasn't doing like, you know, I, like I stopped drinking because I just wasn't feeling great. And honestly, this whole time I've been here, I've seriously had maybe five drinks and I haven't even finished them all. I mostly just ordered them just to feel cool i don't know so i'm eating my meal life is good and it was right when i finished my meal i thought oh oh, oh wow i i i really think i should go to the bathroom right now so zach is talking to the people next to us i get up i'm walking i'm walking and then i start really walking because i'm like it, it, the, it just came over so fast i'm like oh like i literally can't afford to walk because i'm not gonna make it run into the bathroom like a public restroom like not a good situation public restroom and that is when the food poisoning begins i texted zach being like i'm not gonna make it back to the table like i'm really i'm i'm not well at all so i was in that bathroom for maybe like 20 minutes ish i ended up being able to leave that bathroom and then go up to the room and at this point i'm still like i obviously know i'm sick but i'm still like all right, like, wow, that was crazy. But like, you know, like, hopefully that's behind me. No, no. I proceeded to spend the entire night in the bathroom where if I left the bathroom and I came back to the bed, like, you know, okay, like, you know, nope, two minutes later, right back to the bathroom. I don't know how I even had that much inside of me. I have no idea. Like, it's almost like my body was creating food that I, I just was like, I was just stunned. So it was one of the most miserable nights of my life and that's a very big that's a very big statement but it wasn't just the the act of food poisoning obviously that's not pleasant it was the pain the pain in my stomach obviously i was miserable but i was just so scared because of the pain it felt like my stomach was just like twisting around itself and like just awful things were happening i seriously was wondering like am I giving birth right now? Like, I'm not pregnant, obviously. And I was wondering, am I somehow in labor? Because it's like exactly what I would picture contractions to feel like, where you literally feel like your stomach is just ripping itself. Like, it felt like I was being ripped. So I stayed up the whole night. If I even fell asleep for a little bit, I would just wake up in just agony, agony. And as I'm awake at like 2, 3 a.m., I started Googling like, flights home like i really didn't think i was going to be able to stay here but the only thing stopping me and like i realized like this was not logical there was no way i'd be able to get on an airplane like that that would have been a disaster but i really was worried about like do i need a doctor at this point obviously it was the middle of the night though and i didn't know if i'd be able to get a doctor so i kind of just went through the whole night 
awful absolutely awful and so you might be wondering like oh wow like was it the was it the that food that you were eating at dinner based on all of my googling and based on just logical common sense that everyone at that table was eating the same meal zach ate the same meal as me he was fine no i know exactly where i got the food poisoning and let this be a lesson let this be a lesson that i'm sure all of you already would like know common sense would tell you not to do this but i decided to swing by the buffet at like 3 p.m 3 30 p.m for a very late lunch that that afternoon i do not recommend going to a buffet and eating meat that has just been sitting there like i think if you go to the buffet early and the meat has just been you know placed there you're fine the chicken that i grabbed on the outside was definitely questionable i don't even have any pictures but it was questionable but i was like you know what i'm just gonna go for it and this wasn't even grilled it was some sort of like roasted something i don't know but i grabbed it i'm like oh my gosh yes i hit the jackpot like this buffet is amazing heck yeah get to my table i was just eating alone because i had already eaten lunch and then i cut into the chicken and unfortunately it was purple <laughs> It was purple, not like pink, not un, it wasn't like uncooked. It was just purple. And I don't know why it was purple to this day. I don't know. And then I did something that many people probably would not have done. I ate the chicken. I didn't eat all of it, but I wanted enough where I just, I feel so bad wasting food. And I didn't want to just be this person who just comes to the buffet and then just wastes all this food. So I forced myself to eat like quite a few bites of it. I mean, I don't know where I would be today if I ate all of that chicken, but luckily I didn't. I ate quite a few bites. And the reason I, I mean, first of all, I think it was the chicken that gave me the food poisoning is because it was purple. Like this all makes a lot of sense. But also I was Googling my symptoms and everything that happened with like the abdominal feeling like your like insides are being ripped apart. And the strain that I think I have of food poisoning says it hits, I think like six hours later and the timing matches up to a T for me. Cause we've been eating dinner really late. We've been getting like 8 p.m. reservations here, but yeah. So that unfortunately has been my experience these past couple days, why I have not been vlogging because I have just been like fending for my, for my life. Not really, I'm exact. I hope you guys know, like I'm exaggerating and I'm kidding and we're all fine. Like the thing about food poisoning and I know it's pretty common to get food poisoning on vacation. I never have, but I know it's a thing. Obviously it stinks, but at the end of the day, it's like I'm in Mexico, the weather's amazing, I'm staring at the ocean, life could be a whole lot worse, you know what I mean? So all things considered, it is fine. On a scale of one through 10, how much of a wimp do you think I was? Like, and how brave do you think I was? I know you think I exaggerate a lot. Actually, you know what? You're the one who tried to shame me. So first off, it's not Clancy's fault if the chicken was bad. So that's obviously not no, sir, her really. fault if the chicken wasn't cooked or if it sat out. I mean, no, we don't. I don't know what happened with the chicken. But she said it was purple and she kept eating it. <laughs> uh, so kind of her fault if you just kept eating it and you looked at it and it looked bad. So first problem wasn't her fault. Second problem is her fault. And then, I mean, I don't think you're exaggerating anything because it seemed like you were sick. In the middle of the night when you rolled over and I'm just like screaming in pain, not screaming because I want to wake you up, but I'm like, like literally, like I'm telling you guys, like just in the, middle, in the middle of the night, all night, this is me. For the most part, I feel like everything's been good here, but. Oh my that, gosh, yeah. That definitely was a tough scenario. I mean, I think <laughs> people get sick sometimes in Mexico with the water and different things. That's pretty common, but no, the food. The food and, was a bad scenario. And technically there's no evidence that it was, the, I mean, it makes sense based on the color, but like, who knows? I just, it obviously wasn't the dinner because all of you guys were fine. You didn't eat anything crazy at breakfast, so it must have just been the chicken. No, and like ever since then, like my, my like golden breakfast has been just the banana and like some sort of like special K brand cereal, which has just been perfect. I've actually been eating burgers for lunch because I realized my stomach is saying no to the like, I normally eat chicken and fish, but everything is just like extra fried, extra like sauced up. So we just got, we, we kind of like discussed it like a burger. Like, no, I mean, they, they've got plenty of options here. And then they cook the burgers, like again, 
fresh just but right in front of you as well um i need outside, to see the food so. being cooked I, i'm like i have trust issues overall so, it has um, been great though and i don't even totally blame the place or anything just because it's like i don't know i go to a buffet and eating meat that's like hours old what do you expect it's gonna happen so nah, I mean, it's, that was my bad rookie mistake also this is what you guys have been propped up on i have had to get um quite crafty because i did not bring my tripod all right we've got a nice outfit of the night this is a lulu's dress that i actually got last summer it is just one of my all-time favorite dresses this is zach you look very um entertained by me <laughs> yikes <laughs> This is a t-shirt. Remember, I bought this probably 10 years ago. Oh, God. Zag, we don't actually... <laughs> I didn't wear it, though. This is the funny story. For, like, four years, five... I, I hated it on me. I don't know why. I think I was getting, like, fatter. It just didn't look good. And then I just kept it. I didn't get rid of it. And now gonna... it gets its wear. Well, and the other day, you know what? Zach and I are just spending too much time together. I was telling a story, or, like, I was about to start telling a story... And then in the, like, I kind of did, like, a, maybe a two-second pause, and Zach goes. Well, no, like, I wish I could, like, do what you did. It was like I did a little pause. Did you know one time that? But, okay, okay, just okay, okay that's what he and just And just stared at me, and I'm, like, <laughs> you were, like, wanting me to actively be like, what? <laughs> just, just tell the story. No, this was, this happened, but it was not my fault. Show it. Just Guess one time that. <laughs> and you stared at me, I'm like. What? Guess what time? Yeah, what? What'd you do? Zach has the most sassy mannerisms that I've ever experienced. Well, you like your it, sass is literally out of this world. I mean, that's fine, but you can't do that and expect me just to like stare at you. It just doesn't make any sense. One thing I really appreciate about the Hard Rock is before you eat any meal, they ask you if you have any allergies and then they actually write it down. So I cannot tell you how much I appreciate that. Obviously I have nuts. I don't even mention the dairy just because, I don't know, I just feel weird writing a whole laundry list of things. I can pretty much navigate the menus. Like I know what contains what, but it is cool, especially with nuts. Like that's something that I think can be thrown in a lot of things just to have that written down. So, very Don't appreciative of that. Away from Let's not get stuck in our worries. We'll make our way. Won't you come? Guys, I'm almost positive this story is not going to translate and it's not going to be funny, but considering I just peed my pants over it, I have to say, so Zach and I got these special wines at the restaurant. It just comes with this like Hall of Fame thing that we have been a part of because the person who gifted it is part of the Hall of Fame. I don't know. So we got these wines and we wanted to come up to the room to drink said wines because the Jets game is on and they don't let you take these glasses <laughs> up to the rooms or like anywhere like they don't let you leave with them. But Zach was like, come on, Clancy, like, we're just going to take them. And he's like instructing me, like, just act confident and <laughs> it's going to be fine. So I'm like nervous. I'm like, okay, I'm following my fearless leader who has his glass. Dude, we have the glasses, so I don't know what you're yakking <laughs> up about. I'm behind him and I'm like, you go, Zach, you go, Zach. And then I hear, <laughs> and then I hear sir. And Zach <laughs> just continuing to walk. And I hear, sir, he is continuing. <laughs> How many times do you think they turned us off? I mean, she said it three times, but. More than three. No, then the like, again, goes. the only problem is they want you to drink out of plastic glasses, which is fine. But they don't want you running around with glass, which I get it. But I asked, I said, hey, we're just going straight up to our room. Can we take them? And she said, yeah. So, like, we weren't doing anything crazy. <laughs> we just wanted to take our glasses up to us it, and not use The funniest glasses. part was just that he was, like, trying to instruct me to, like, just be confident and all will work out. <laughs> And it, did, and it did. I it was did. right. It did work. But I watched as that confidence played out, and I was just like, oh, no, he's getting caught. And then... <laughs> When you turned around, it was just like so obvious. You had heard everything the way you were just like, you kept going and then finally you're just like, yeah, I heard you. I mean, I don't know what you want me to like, say. Like, I thought so you were going to get tackled. We have our glasses. Also, I stopped using makeup wipes like 
over a year ago i now do like the double cleanse method because it's just a so much better for your skin b so much better for the environment except for when i travel i will use these little makeup wipes just because it's just so much easier and i forgot how just oh it, it really is so much easier with the double cleanse method like my arms get all but it's just it's a whole thing well <laughs> I tried to film on our balcony and this is what you're getting, I guess because of all the moisture in the air. So yeah, good morning guys. It unfortunately is our last day. One thing about me by the way is I live in the hotel robes. Like the first thing I do whenever I get into a hotel room is I look, I'm like, where's the robe? Like they, they have to have a robe. So very happy they did have a robe. And yeah, it's our last day, which every vacation, like this is, it's just inevitable the last day and oh like you almost want to like squeeze everything in i'm like oh my gosh i want to walk the beach i want to go in the ocean i want to go in the pool i want to lounge by the pool i want to read like so many things this is where we have been going for breakfast a lot of the time it's called frida this is a buffet you can kind of see all in here I can't eat it. Zach, what? Zach messed up. I'm That's what he said. Eat it. Also, we're in the middle of the. We just kind of ran into each other. What do you think you got? Syrup. This is. I put honey on it. I thought it was syrup. Well. It looks good. It does look good. And by the way, those are dairy-free pancakes. They have like a little dairy-free section. But I looked it up, they're made from almond flour, so that's a no-go for me. I have my classic all bran and banana. So unfortunately, we have a slight change of plans. It just started raining, which like I said, we are very lucky. This is like really our only like rain out. I don't know if it, the sun is gonna come out eventually, but we stumbled upon, this is the resort right next door. We think it's, did you say you think it's secrets? Uh, I think so. We think it's secrets and it's really, it's just cool having like this bird's eye view, like, oh wow, you've got the big pool here. You've got the gym that overlooks the ocean. That is really cool. Scanning down, I feel like such a creep. You've got some other pools, obviously the ocean, the ocean here in Cancun. I did not realize it was as beautiful as it is. Like, I mean, obviously right now it's gross out and it's raining, but it is so nice here. So yeah, this is what we're doing on our rainy day. <laughs> Creeping. Creeping. Well, considering the weather up says the rain hasn't even started yet, I'm gonna say today is going to be a rain out, but there are worse places to read my book. Oh shoot, I need to switch to my phone. I don't know why my camera does that, but yeah. I'm thinking it's gonna be a rain out. Zach is inside watching one of his shows. I'm out here reading a book. You can even see like the storms coming from beyond, so yeah. Last day in Cancun, honestly though, not complaining. Well, because it's rainy, Zach and I decided to dine today. Normally we just go to the pool for like burgers, fries, things like that. But we are at a fancy, where's my fork? We are at a fancy Italian restaurant. I got vegetables in tomato sauce. Meanwhile, the world is ending outside. <laughs> All right, Zach just informed me, like literally anything that can go wrong on this trip will. Zach just informed me as we look outside, this is the only day that looks like this. We're supposed to have a romantic dinner on the beach tonight. We were supposed to, but it's been extremely rainy and windy, so I had to message our guy that helps me plan stuff and say, like, we just need to bring it inside. No romantic sunset, candle lit, dinner. Alright, it's not a romantic dinner on the beach, but they were actually so nice and they set us up here on this little private patio by ourselves. And Zach is eating his steak dinner. What, do you steak have and shrimp. Steak and shrimp. And then I have it. a seafood dinner. And this is still, I mean, come on. This is still such a beautiful view. So overall, what would you rate vacation out of 10? The 9 out of 10. Even though there were quite a few things that maybe, um, you know, didn't go to plan, such as a location, that is okay. It was still seriously, like, it really was so amazing, and we are so grateful. So, yeah, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. We're just going to have a nice, relaxing evening. This vlog was not what I thought it was going to be. I'm sorry. Things happen. Food poisoning happens. Bye.